It's Wednesday, October 28th, and today we are levitating. Um, so the goal of levitation is to create a composition where you are floating in space. And yesterday we looked at Artsonia at some of the examples from previous students and critique them positive and negative. All right, so here's Hindi. Now, one of the negative things about this composition is I took this right at like high noon. So the sun is right overhead and it's really bright and there's really strong shadows. It was a really bright sunny day. Today's a little bit colder because the storm's coming in. Um, okay. Now, if you guys want to use um, the healing brush in a different software that it kind of uses AI to get rid of this. Um, I want you to, to sh you can share your screen with us and show how to do that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Okay. All right, I need to get the clone tool. What, what's the keyboard shortcut? S, okay, that makes perfect sense. Oh, S for stamp. Um, now, as you can see, this is a very hard um, brush. And Hindi is, is not a fan of hard brushes. Okay. So let's go with a, a softer brush. Now, the, the negative thing about the cloning tool is sometimes your composition gets kind of repetitive if you repeat the same pattern over and over again. So you might need to add dust and scratches. Oh, and I did not make a copy of myself. Let's make a copy of myself in case I'm a a dirt dirt and um in case i mess things up and can i lock it i can lock it can i yeah okay there we go i like sometimes you can lock your layer because if you're like me you you get you get really distracted and yeah now i could use a bigger brush I think when you start using a bigger brush, um, I, I think it's it's harder to fix the patterns. Like it, it might go faster. All right, now I wanna make sure um, I don't erase my shadow, okay? So I'm gonna get a smaller brush Ugh, that looks awful, guys. Okay. All right, let me go back over here. Um, when I use the clone stamp, I always, um, I tend to bounce around a lot with my selections. Because um, my, my theory is that when you do that, it, um, it looks better. It looks more random. All right, now for these lines. Okay, so I'm gonna do my K right here. I mean, K, I meant, ew, the new. All right, so how do I, um, how do I undo guys? Do you remember? No, how do I undo something? Like, what do I hit? Control Z. All right, so I've done my, let's zoom out. I've done the almost, all right, I've done the bottom of my stool. That, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes. So obviously I need to do grass right here and kind of go through here and fix that a little bit, okay? Now, if you accidentally uh, erase your shadow, uh, you can put a shadow in uh, let me show you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to label my uh, layer shadow. All right, I got black selected. And I want a really soft brush. Is my brush selected? No, my magnifying glass is. Can I hit B for brush? Yes. Yeah. All right, so say I have a shadow. It's my imaginary shadow, okay? Now, that looks...
looks really bad. But I can come through here and fade it out. See what I'm saying? I can fade my shadow because it's on a different layer. Okay? So you can still see the sidewalk through it. Um, I can also take, now if I had a brush, sometimes you can actually do splatter brushes. Um, we've not really talked about loading brush sets. In the other Pixlr, you could do leaf brushes, kind of like almost like a stamp. And they would have a kind of like a splatter paint brush that would kind of really distort the edges that I really liked. Um, we also have the smudge tool. Sometimes that hides from me and I can't remember where it is. No. Um, and you can smooth, uh, what you call it? Um, you can smoosh it around. All right. Let me talk to you guys really quickly about dust and scratches. I don't know if I necessarily need it here, but it is a tool that's available to you. If you, um, say you have an area and it's just, it's just not looking right. You can, is it adjustments, dust and scratches, or is it a filter? Noise. All right, so we can add noise or do dust and scratches. So if you have something and it needs to be, you need to make it look a little bit random, you can slide this slidey bar. I'm hit cancel. And so this will kind of just uh, alt alter the area a little bit and you can change the threshold. Ooh, that looks horrible. Uh, but those are some tools available to you if you want to kind of mess the area up a bit. 